Okay, folks, I'm going to call the meeting to order. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Can I get a moment of silence, please? Okay, thank you. Welcome everybody that's here, everybody that will be watching, and everybody that is watching. Public comment, Mark, I don't think we had any, did we? Okay. Okay, if it's all right, I'll move to administrative business. Oh, I'm sorry, Jesus. I'm so excited about presenting that young lady, her thing, I do that. I'm going to start with, uh, <clears throat> let's try this again. Roll call. Start with Commissioner Cause. Here. I'm here. Commissioner Doug Smith. Here. Commissioner Mike Steven. Here. Commissioner Jeff Coberson. Here. Okay. Hopefully I won't get ahead of myself again. Thank you, Mickey. <clears throat> it's okay, your advanced age. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't take him anywhere. But anyway, let's go on. Administrative business. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is why I probably skipped a little bit. I want to um, uh, talk about the challenge coin that we had. Uh, a few months ago, the governing body here decided to create a coin to give out to people deserving uh, in the county. And uh, for whatever they may do, it doesn't have to be elected, it doesn't have to be, it could be for anybody that's doing something positive for the community. And uh, we decided we needed a design to uh, go along with that. So. We had, a, and I thank Becky for taking charge of this, but we had every, all the schools contacted and uh, submit uh, a design for what the new corner is going to look like. After that, uh, they were brought back up here and the county commissioners looked at it. And the design was, the one we picked out was definitely, in my opinion, stood out compared to the rest of them. They were all good, but this one really, stu this one really stood out. And we, I don't have it here in front of me. I don't know if you do, but I don't have it here in front of me. But it's... Uh, Buffalo soldier on one side and the courthouse on the other. It's going to be a great looking, great looking coin. Yeah, I don't have a large one, mm -hmm. uh, but it looks it looks good. If anybody wants to see it out in the audience, but it looks good. Anyway, after we uh, after we viewed it, we got a uh, uh, decided we wanted to um, make a decision. And the person we chose is a sophomore out of Tonganoxy. Is it Lyric? Lyric. I knew I was going to do that. Sorry, is Lyric Yost? Here with us today, and Lyric, before we uh, present you with this uh, uh, gift card, I'd like for you to offer you to come up and uh, just tell us a little bit about yourself. And I know you've got some past drawings that I thought were quite fascinating that you might want to show up here. Um, hello. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, only in high school. Um, I, I'm not, I, I've only started getting into art for the past few years, like when I got into high school because my art teacher, she's really nice, and she's really helpful. And she helped me go from not very really well being able to draw to like being able to make things like this. And we had an art fair the other day, and um, these are some of the things that I was selling. Excellent. Um, the fly and the lion. But, uh, yeah, I'm glad I won, and thank you for choosing I, me. It's incredible. I told that, that's very that's talented. Very nice. You're talented. I told you not to be nervous. See, this is not a bad group. If it's all right with you, I'd like you to come up front. If I get the county commissioners to, as I present this to her, come forward. Get everybody to smile. Ready? Yeah. Oh. One, two, three. Can 
Congratulations. And one thing I'd like to say that this is the final award. Millions are being developed now, but it takes a while, and you'll be the first one to receive it. Thank you, Brenda. Again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, moving on. One thing I want to bring up before I talk to Mark is I so I was talking to the city of Lansing last week. The the joint project between the City of Lansing and Loveworth by Quick Trip, Fourth and Eisenhower, Fourth and Main, whatever you want to call it, uh, is getting ready to kick off, and it's going to be a site. So it's going to be a, excellent. They're going to turn lanes going north on, uh, uh, so you can turn them the west, and it's going to be a lot. But what I'm guess what I'm saying is they're going to start putting the cones out, and once they start putting those cones out, the construction is going to be coming real soon. I would suggest, and they suggest. If you're going through there at any time, I would go down K5 or I'd use the DeSoto Road thing because it's, it's going to be totally down to two lanes and maybe in one lane for a certain part of that time. So it's going to be great, but it won't be completed until November. So please mark your counters. Once you see those cones going out, that means they're getting ready to start. I just wanted to pass that on. Mark, I don't think I've ever heard anybody say use K5 ever. Is that right? <laughs> but... Anyway, Mark, did you have anything? David. David? Mr. Chairman, members of the commission, the county earlier directed that counties submit uh, to the public uh, proposals for bid on a five-acre tract of FEMA property located near the city of Easton. Uh, the deadline for the submission of bids was Monday at 10 a.m. We did receive one proposal. It meets the general uh, parameters of the notice, that is, uh, for a five-year term. Uh, they're proposing a one-year per uh, one dollar per year lease uh, for agricultural purposes only. Uh, one of the provisions was that the uh, successful bidder would be required to clean the property and keep it in a good condition. The person submitting the bid also provided photographs of the current condition of the property, and I will tell you it is substantially far worse than I had anticipated. Uh, there is a great deal of construction debris on the property. old wood, it would not, uh, quite frankly, we're FEMA to inspect that property, we would probably get an order to remove that material from the property. So the, uh, your only bidder is proposing the $1 a year for five years and is requesting some assistance, possibly the use of a dump truck to help haul some of the material away, as well as the ability to utilize the transfer station to deposit some of the material that could be disposed of there. Uh, I would... Uh, offer the opinion that we should accept this proposal. Given the condition of the property, we could be required to clean it ourselves. The uh, bidder is offering to use some of his equipment to bring the material, put it in a dump truck, have it hauled off, and to haul material to the transfer station. I agree with Councilor because this is really our problem. But we're trying to get rid of our problem. And the person bidding is lives adjacent to the property, has a has a background in farming, so I believe it will take care of the property for at least a five-year term. Yeah, he's got all the equipment to clean it up. He's just asking that he not be charged to dump the debris, the body, yeah. and if the county could provide transportation from the site to wherever we want to deposit it, which could be transfer station or the Tongi dump or, or landfill or whatever. And, commissioners, the other benefit, the property, since it's kind of common property, since no one's responsible for it, everyone utilizes it as, quite frankly, a dump. Uh, if the property is cleaned up and put into agricultural use, I think that uh, that will take care of that problem. And the debris is mostly just brush and concrete and rock. Okay. Do you need a motion? I'd ask that the board... Uh, Propose a motion and approve that motion to authorize the chair, uh, chairman to execute the lease agreement. Dave, I'm trying to remember the uh, Crockett's Corner lot. How long did we lease that for? I thought it was it's a lot. It's a one longer. year. Uh, just continues. 
Okay. Unless, unless either they choose to abandon it or we choose to terminate it. And if we were to terminate it, we would have to abide by Kansas laws regarding uh, agricultural leases. Okay. Because I'd like to set it up that way or at least give him 10 years because he's going to do a lot of work. I think, you know, if I was going to do that much work, I wouldn't want to only be guaranteed five yeah, years. I agree. To, yeah. to we can change that. it to a 10-year period and have it roll over. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's what I propose. That's so I'd like to make a motion. Because it's always going to be in the flood flood. Yeah. 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 And he's the adjacent property owner, so he can keep an eye on it and make sure nobody dumps on it again. And we all already put up some no-dumping signs to help. But it's going to take somebody right there to make sure that it stays cleaned up. It's our problem. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we would have to clean it up. Right. So. Sounds like a plan to me. So yeah, I'd make that motion. Yeah. yeah, I'd like to make a motion that we lease that uh, property to Mark Wagner for 10 years uh, with the option to uh, release. Renew. Renew. Actually, uh, automatic. The language I was going to propose is it would automatically renew for an additional 10 year term unless either he chose to abandon it or the county chose to terminate it. So moved. Second. Motion to second. Any discussion? Did your motion include that the county assist in cleanup? And the county would assist in the cleanup. And I'll provide a transportation from the site and no charge to the tenant for uh, the debris deposit. Second. Okay, any more discussion? Mr. Cause? Aye. Aye, Commissioner Smith? Aye. Mr. Stephen? Aye. Mr. Coberson? Aye. Very good. Okay, Mark? Nothing else? Okay, any commissioner have anything before I move on to? Uh, Go ahead, Doug. we got a lot of projects going on right now in the county. It's, uh, I don't know. I know Bill's not here, but all of them are on schedule, correct? There's nothing, no delays or any problems? Yeah, all of our projects currently are on schedule. Uh, there's a few that are probably a little bit ahead of schedule, um, but uh, so far we haven't had any um, anything, any notice from any of our vendors that would create a delay. Uh, we do have uh, the one uh, change order that I discussed right. with you that will be on right. next week, but I still I don't think They're that will schedule. Yeah, I don't think that will delay us. I want to be able to answer correctly to the public when they that's great. Make their they're complaint on complaint and great. they're on schedule. Let me above. That's excellent. Glad to hear that. Doug, do you have anything? Else? Well, just want to make sure that if the public's aware and yeah. everything's going good, and if the, and, uh, they may not like the answer they get because they think that this ought to be done overnight, and just like your project here, <coughs> yeah. that is going to be a real inconvenience. Yeah, it is. And it's you know it's going to affect the business owners there too, uh, but when it's done, it's done. Yeah. So. And Doug and Doug brings up a good point. There are a couple of businesses that will be affected. They'll be designing or putting in or using. They'll be able to get to uh, the business, but it, it's still, folks. That's that's going to start here soon. And if you can go yeah, a different way, the majority of the people is going to try to avoid that. Yeah. I so that so. is going to hurt their business. We just have to that's remember that progress can create inconvenience. Yeah. But the big picture. Yep. Progress. Okay. Mike, do you have anything? Uh, just a couple of points of clarification and a couple of items that have been on social media. Uh, I do not believe that the county commissioners are supporting only big business. We have we supported multiple SUPs that are for small businesses and agricultural businesses, and we support all, all kinds of uh, reasonable business requests and that are brought into the county and, and not just big business. And I, um, another clarification is uh, working together. I think that we are seeking to work together with the LCDC and the Port Authority and all work together. I think that's a goal. Does it always happen? Maybe not, but we're trying to work together, and I think we're making progress in that direction. And some... When people are Facebook warriors and put these things out, sometimes they don't really dig into all the facts. Really? <laughs> I know. It's unbelievable. Anything else, Mike? That's it. So people don't let the facts get in the way of a good story? Wow. Jeff, I don't do you have anything else? <laughs> okay. Um, anything need to be removed from the consent agenda? If not, I'll take a motion. I move that we accept the consent agenda as presented. Second. Motion and second. Any discussion? 
Call roll, Commissioner Collins? Aye. Aye, Commissioner Smith? Aye. Commissioner Stephen? Aye. Commissioner Colbert? Aye. All right, consider a motion to appoint Monica Swigart, Swigart, if I pronounce that right, Human Resource Administrator as the alternate to the Carrot Board of Trustees. Mark. Commissioners, um, as you know, Monica is our new Human Resources Administrator. Uh, the Carrot Board is our work comp provider. Um, I am the um, uh, primary, and the, uh, Monica would then be the uh, secondary or backup. Um, in the past, uh, Fran has done that for us for years done a great job but um, she had reached out to me and, and expressed an interest of not doing it anymore once Monica <laughs> came on board so that's okay too commissioners uh, any comments no I'll take a motion I move that we appoint Monica Swagger the human resources administrator as the alternate to the carrot board of trustees I'll second that motion in a second any more discussion Start roll call, Commissioner Collins? Aye. Aye, Commissioner Smith? Aye. Commissioner Stevens? Aye. Commissioner Culberson? Aye. Very good. Okay, consider a motion to approve funding requests from local historical societies and museums. This money was budgeted in the 20, 2022 budget for um, county museums. Um, we budgeted $50,000 to be used. Uh, for funding for any of the museums, historical societies that applied um, and met the criteria that the board has set out. We, um, Mark, fixed a spreadsheet up here with each of the agencies that did apply. And I do believe if uh, some of the agencies are here, if you wish to hear from them. Anybody like to address the board that's from one of the museum? If not, we'll continue discussion up here then on it. Do you want to share? Oh, sure. Sure. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I... Yeah, I would like to say that our porch is Could complete. Pardon me? Your name. I'm sorry. I'm Sherry Adams Dodson with the um, Leavenworth County Historical Society. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, uh, the Carroll Mansion porch has been completed, and it looks wonderful. And uh, we're going to celebrate on the 4th of June. We'd like to invite you all. And we're going to just celebrate that we do have the porch complete, and we're going to have some music and maybe some dancing. So you're all invited. So thank you for your consideration. Thank you. I have a question for you. Uh, how many people do you annually have go through the how, how many what? Carol Mansion, how many do they usually have a year? Our attendance yeah. at, at our functions. Um, let's see, what was it we put in our, um, I think it's. Uh, With COVID, I can't remember the number because uh -huh. yeah. we part of that. I think it's around 1,250 this past uh, year, even with COVID. So we have some of our functions uh, at other sites. So I think uh, I put it in the action, but I think it's 1,250, something like that. So we have a, a good number of people coming from all over the world, actually. That's awesome. Are you going to be playing at the event? Uh, I wasn't planning on it, but I could. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any other questions Any for me? Questions? Thank you. Else wants to speak. Somebody else, it looks like. You want, would you like to, ma'am? I'll get on. Come on up. Good morning. Morning. Um, morning. Chris Roberts, Tonganoxi Community Historical Society. Um, we, we submitted a letter. We also want to thank you for all of your support in the past. And um, this, this year we're looking to uh, put a new lift in the church. Our, our lift, which is about 40 years old, is probably one we could put in the museum. <laughs> um, but um, so that's that's our, our current request. And did you have any questions? How many do you have typically? Now, I know it's the COVID is an issue, but yeah. prior to COVID, how many did you typically have I, come through? You know, we, we are smaller, and so it's usually more around 1,300 to 1,500. Now, I think in our letter this year we said that we're 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 gonna we're gonna break that record this year Good. because of a traveling exhibit and because you know, things are popping again. It's people so. are glad to be out, so it's right. a good thing. All right. Thanks for all you do. Any Thank other you. Questions? Thank you. Well, uh, thanks. When you do your projects, you follow up with uh, photos and everything to let us good, keep yeah. us posted on it. Yeah. Okay. You guys do a good job of that. Well, so. it's a. Uh, 
I think it's the right thing to do. Well, it is. It is. We appreciate it, too. Thanks. You guys stand out more when it comes to that following up. Okay. I think we're... Okay. So now we need to discuss on the funding request. Well, we got seven requests. We got $50,000. I think we have about the same as last year, don't we? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So it would be about $7,000 so apiece. One, that was 142. Mark, is that correct? So, uh, Commissioners, the spreadsheet I provided, um, these are the same entities that made requests last year. Um, and really the past uh, several years what the board has done is anybody who falls below the average, they give them full funding and then they split the rest between the remaining groups. Um, in this case, all of the requests came in just slightly above what if you divided it equally. Based on last year's request, it was seven thousand one hundred forty-two dollars and eighty-six cents per. Seems fair. Like yeah, that's a fair thing to do. I do too. There's, a, you know, with the way the things are going, that's a, that's, I think it's the fair way to do. I, I agree. Commissioners, anybody? Mark, do you have anything else? I'm sorry. No, okay, commissioners, y'all. Any? If not, then I'll take a motion for that funding. Chairman, I move that we uh, split the fifty thousand dollars amongst the uh, all seven of the applicants. Second. 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 And that number would be. This is like a twenty twenty one mark seven uh, Seven thousand one hundred forty two. Yeah. Six cents. That, that's what I was. What the motion? Yeah. I don't need the amount. You what? I don't need the amount. Okay. You say so. Okay, we've got a motion and a second. Any more discussion? Mr. Cause? Aye. 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 Mr. Mr. Stephen? Aye. Mr. Culberson? Aye. Okay, very uh, good. Just Thank a, you folks one, for what you've given. One you comment on this is, and, and I know the folks on the boards know, if we forget our history of our country, then we forget. You're doomed to repeat. Where we came from. And mistakes. And I, I'm glad that we have the resources to to help out in this. You know, you never know when the, you know in the future Actually, we may not. I mean, the economy is changing. It's it's a. Yeah, you think? When I was talking about low hanging fruit a few weeks ago, this is. We do appreciate it though, from the people that aren't here that are listening or folks that showed up. What you do is very valuable, and believe me, we take it serious and we try to find funding for you. So thank you for what you do. This budget coming up is going to be challenging. Yep. Oh, there's no doubt. To say the least. Yep. I agree. Okay. Uh, presentation and discussion items, Mark? Nothing on the agenda today. I did have one question. Go ahead. Uh, and Mark, the meeting on the 27th of June the, for the various taxing entities, Have you? what kind of response have you received so far? Underwhelming. <laughs> I mean, I think I've had two entities that have responded that they will uh, try to have someone. And who, who are they? Uh, the city of Lansing uh, was one of them. The city of Basin. Okay. <coughs> I'm sure you'll hear from Leavenworth. So, but nothing from Tonganoxy or any of the school districts. Nothing formally. Okay. Away. Yeah, away. but. Year end in the school functions and graduations finished. Up. Yep. Okay, Mark. I'm sorry. Did you have anything? I didn't. Okay, um, Mr. Cause, you have anything for the group? Let's see. I did um, participate in the Port Authority meeting yesterday at noon. Um, they're just moving right along. Um, uh, attended the City of Leavenworth uh, meeting last evening. And they were discussing their, the primary uh, focus was on the um, system of uh, sanitary, you know, yeah. improvements. Yeah. And then I'm getting ready to leave here in just a few minutes to go to the Kansas City Area Transit Authority um, meeting this afternoon for a strategic planning session, and then tomorrow for the board of directors meeting for the NECAP. And then Sunday or Saturday, the NAACP. Thank you, Vicki. Mm -hmm. Keep you busy. 
Uh, just a couple on my part. I um, attended the Lumber County Fire District 1 meeting. Um, had new, two uh, firefighters get pinned. It's always nice to attend those when they're adding people and also training folks. Uh, just remind of the joint meeting with the City of Lansing's next Thursday. It's at 6 p.m. It will be upstairs. And that's all I have. Uh, Can I have oh, it's upstairs? Sure. Yeah. Just want to add a couple of things. I did go to the uh, government affairs meeting on behalf of Commissioner Culberson last Thursday. And um, then following that to the AT&T um, uh, ribbon cutting because there's they're getting ready to do some expanding of their 5G and some of that will benefit people just outside the areas of the county. So I think that's going to be a good it's an important thing yeah. that's, that's getting ready to happen for our community. So yeah. just wanted to give the kudos to AT&T for the work that they're doing. Good. Good. Uh, just attended Baser City Council workshop or work session uh, last Wednesday. And they're, they were going to put the agreement on the consent agenda for the 25th. Besides looking at projects and stuff, special use permits. So, a lot of good projects going. There is. Okay. Mike? Uh, I sat in on the LCDC meeting last week uh, via Zoom, or is it Zoom yeah, or too. That WebEx? Was Zoom. Yep, yeah. Zoom. Uh, uh, went to the Tonganoxie work session on wastewater treatment and learned all about wastewater treatment plants. They showed a video and um, uh, meet and greet with their economic development uh, specialist Tom Cole in Tonganoxie yesterday, and then I attended the Linwood City Council meeting last night. Mike, it's interesting you talk about the wastewater. Since I've been part of two building two plants, people really don't understand everything that has to happen to produce clean water when you start doing a plant, especially with all the new regulations. That is expensive, expensive. Thing to take on. Rocky's got a good video. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> they, sh they showed a video at their uh, council meeting. You know, I've been exactly how it's done. I've been a part of two, and then the, then find the way of funding. It's always interesting too. Mike, anything else? Uh, that's that's all. My daughter's graduating this weekend. So well, congratulations. congratulations. We're working on that too. Good, Jeff. No, I don't have anything this week. Okay, with that, I'll t entertain a motion. Motion to adjourn. Second. Motion and second. Mr. Cause. Aye. Aye. Commissioner Smith. Aye. Mr. Steven? Aye. Mr. Culberson? Aye. Thank you, folks. Worked out good.